It is my year of breaking limits. The psalmist said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. You're glad to be in God's presence this evening. Why don't you rise up on your feet and begin to give glory to the King of kings and the Lord of lords. My Father, I thank you. What an awesome privilege to come into the presence of the Lord. I give you glory. I give you honor. I give you thanks and I give you praise. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, the name of the Lord is to be praised. Are you appreciating the King of Kings? Are you appreciating the Lord of Lords? Why don't you thank him for what he did yesterday? Why don't you thank him for his word that came with authority and with power? Express your gratitude to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Why don't you thank him for miracles, for signs, for wonders. Appreciate him for the communion table. Give him glory. Give him honor and give him thanks and praise. The word said the word of the Lord came unto me a second time. Why don't you make a demand on the word of the Lord today. Father, in this service tonight, send your word again. Send your word again. He said after two days, will he revive us? Send your word of revival. My way tonight to God. Put a word in the mouth of your servant for me in this service. Let your word provoke my own supernatural breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus. He said the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost. Father by your word, let the love of God be shed abroad in my heart tonight leading to my supernatural breakthrough in all areas of life. Are you calling upon the king? Are you calling upon the Lord? Are you making your request known unto him. He said he has not called the seed of Jacob to seek him in, in vain. Cry upon to the Lord. Make your voice heard in heaven. We can begin to appreciate him. We have not prayed into storage, but we have prayed to the God that hears and answers prayers. My Father, I thank you. My Lord, I give you glory. I thank you, Lord, because I know you hear me always, and you have heard me tonight. Blessed be your name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. You have a testimony? Please go to the overflow, document your testimony during the service. You may be called to share your testimony. Let's celebrate Jesus with a clap offering as we welcome the choir.
so gather and let's have our seat in his presence. This is my year of breaking limits. Congratulations. We want to be praying our first prayer. We're going to say, Father, in the name of Jesus, let every convert that ever stepped into this church since this year began abide here for life. Say amen. amen. We'll take an anchor scripture from John chapter 10 and I read from verse 28. And I give unto them eternal life and they shall never perish neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Church, let's be on our feet as we begin to pray. As we begin to say, Father, in the name of Jesus, let every convert that ever step into this church, living faith church Jahi, since the year began, abide here for life. That is our request. Lord, we are asking this day, every sheep know the voice of the master. Lord, cause every soul that ever step their feet into this auditorium from the beginning of the year up till this period cause them to abide in living faith of Jahi. Let's begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, let every convert, every new member that has visited this church throughout this year, cause them to abide in living faith church Jahi. Let living faith church Jahi be their place of solution. Let it be their own man Zion, their own heavenly Jerusalem. Lord, we are asking this day as a congregation, Lord, let every convert, every member that have ever stepped into living faith church Jahi since the beginning of the year up till date, be abiding this church in the name of Jesus. Let's begin to pray. Begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Lembru seze lezi zezego. Imbrozula delusco. Delusco. Lord, cause them to abide. Everyone that has been in living faith church, Jahi, wherever they come from, all over the city, Lord, cause them to dwell. As many that will yet come as they step into this place, it will be their own city of refuge. It shall become their own city of rest. Lembrozu, zeze, zeze, zeze. Imbrozu, lezi, katu, soze, lezi, sezige. Imbrozu, imbrozu, lembrozu. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. It is done. Put those wonderful hands together, church. Let's have our seat in his presence. If that clap is for Jesus, you can do it better and louder. Hallelujah. It's my year of breaking limits. Congratulations. Shortly again, we shall be rising up to pray. In this segment, we shall be praying in this manner, saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree perfect weather condition before, during, and after our services and each free movement for all worshippers in and out of this church come this Sunday. Say amen. In Job 22, verse 28, the Bible speaking, Thou shalt also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee, and the light shall shine upon thy ways. With this understanding, shall we rise up on our feet, lift up our voice as we pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree perfect weather conditions before, during, and after our services and each free movement for all worshippers in and out of church this coming Sunday. In the name of Jesus Christ, let God hear your voice. This is our expectation. Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree perfect weather conditions before, during, and after our services this coming Sunday and each free movement for all worshippers in and out of this church. In the name of Jesus Christ, we decree again tonight, in the name of Jesus Christ, we decree perfect weather conditions before, during, and after our services and each free movement for all worshippers in and out of church 
this coming Sunday. In the name of Jesus Christ, let God hear your voice. That's our decree thing that shall come to pass in our midst. In the name of Jesus Christ, we decree there shall be no rain. In the name of Jesus Christ, you have done it before. Do it again. Give us perfect weather conditions before, during, and after our services. And is free movement for all worshippers in and out of church this coming Sunday. In the name of Jesus Christ, give us is free movement in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we ask all Lord tonight in the name of Jesus, give us perfect weather conditions before, during, and after our services. And is free movement for all worshippers in and out of this church come this Sunday. In the name of Jesus Christ, this is our heart cry. Let God hear your voice. Father, we ask O Lord in the name of Jesus. We decree perfect weather conditions before, during, and after our services. And each free movement for all worshippers in and out of this church come this Sunday. In the name of Jesus Christ, the expectation of the righteous shall not be cut short. This is our outcry. Let God hear your voice. Man, brale, let hute, let kute zuse. We ask for Lord tonight, in the name of Jesus, we decree perfect weather condition before, during, and after our services. And it's free movement for all worshippers in and out of church this coming Sunday. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, you have done it before. Do it again. There shall be no rain. We decree perfect weather condition. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the weather be favorable unto God's people. In the name of Jesus, and there shall be ease free movement upon all worshippers in and out of church this coming Sunday. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree perfect weather condition before, during, and after our services. And it's free movement for all worshippers in and out of this church come this Sunday. Do it, O Lord, and take all the glory. Lift up your voice and please appreciate God. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory for hearing us and answering us. Thank you, mighty God. Blessed be God forever. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. It is done. Put your hands together for Jesus. You may be seated. my year of breaking limits. It's announcement time. Please listen to the announcement. If you want to clap for Jesus, let's do it better. One, our covenant hour of prayer continue this week. Time is 6 a.m. Our week of spiritual emphasis continue tomorrow. Remember, we shall be waiting upon the Lord in a fast and break with Holy Communion. The time is 5.30 p.m. Three, join the 633 Army of the Evangelism Unit daily, Monday to Friday, for the morning gospel read. The time is 8 a.m. Four, Wolfby, BCC, LCC, and LDC October special run concurrently from 19th to 30th October 2020. I thought somebody's happy with Jesus. Registration is ongoing at over at the overflow facility. Five, we now set light fellowship oath every Saturday at our various cell centers by 5 p.m. Please locate the nearest one to your residence and attend. Six, next Sunday, 11th October 2020, shall be our breaking generational courses. Somebody celebrate Jesus. It shall also double at special communion service. Therefore, come expecting an encounter of a lifetime with the prophetic word and the mystery of the communion table. Time, 7 a.m., 8.30 a.m., and 10 a.m. respectively. Seven, recommended books of the month authored by Bishop David Oyedeko include Following the Path of the Eagle, Exploring the Secrets of Success, Running Your World, Success Button, Success strategies, success system. Celebrate Jesus. The testimony of Jesus Christ is the spirit of testimony. Praise the Lord. It's testimony time. It's testimony time. Let's put our hands together to welcome Laura Victoria for our testimony. Please, if that sounds like your name, quickly come to the altar to share your testimony. Why she's coming? Let's take this written in testimony titled Supernatural Turn Around. I joined this church in July 2015, all broken down and battered. Since 2004, I, my wife, and my children have been squatting in different places with no job or business. Everything had broken down. 
The first day we came to Kinalan, I heard the bishop say, if we actively engage to do all the instructions from this altar, our lives will change. That statement hit me. I engage in kingdom stewardship with all my heart. Lo and behold, the God of this commission showed up, faithful and true. I was in abject poverty, got a call from a long-forgotten business associate to send my international passport details that I was being invited for China for some business negotiation. I had no international passport. Even money for passport photograph was not available. But God showed up. By the third week, somebody said third week, I was on a flight to China. All this within three months of joining this church. Today, God has blessed us with a very well-furnished three-bedroom flat. My children are back in school, and to God be all the glory. I have gone to China, USA, and Holland. This is all in fulfillment of Matthew 6, 3, 3. I came to give back all the glory to God of my father, Bishop David Oyedeko. The testifier is Charles Aikoko. Celebrate Jesus is the doer. Your name, what the Lord has done in one minute. Praise God. My name is Lawa Victoria. I came to return all the glories to God. This problem is since is four years ago when I gave birth to my last baby. My bubble pullout and they call it spy. I've been suffering from it for four years now. But by God's grace, two weeks back, it came out very well. Not the one I used to push before. It came out that I cannot sit, I cannot do anything. I was lying down. I say, God, the pain is too much for me. I had to call one pastor here, Pastor Bofede. I called him and he prayed. He told me that that thing would go back to where it came from. I also called my leader in hospitality and she prayed for me. I was believing God, even as I was taking all the things I'm taking, it's still like that. But I tell you, I said I cannot stay again. This Sunday, I told my husband that I will follow them to church. I want to come. I managed myself and come to church on Sunday. I sat down. I could not do anything. After the service, the Holy Spirit speak to me. Why not go to the pastor chef, Pastor Chris? Even before on Sunday, yeah, I saw pastor in the dream and I hold his leg, Pastor Chris. I said, please, maybe God is not hearing me. Help me ask him whether I can serve him with this pain. I really return all glory to God. After that service on Sunday, I met one pastor. I said, sir, please, can I sit in Pastor Chris here? He said, let me feel free. So I sat and I say, I know Pastor Chris Bombo is not coming out. And after I sit here, I know that will be the end. And I tell you, after a Sunday, I was free. See, I return all the glory to God. Are you just sitting like that? Celebrate Jesus with a shout. Give him all the praise. Celebrate him the more for this testimony. It is my year of breaking limits. Congratulations. Time to honor the Lord with our substance in this offering time. Please package your tithes, your offering, and any other giving you would like to honor the Lord with. And if you are giving online, your account details will be displayed on the screen shortly. You can please take advantage of that channel and be blessed in the name of Jesus. If you are done with packaging your seat, could you kindly please rise to your feet and lift up your seat well above your head. Give him thanks for giving you this seed to sow. Thank him. He shall multiply this seed unto righteousness in the name of Jesus. Thank you for open heaven and favor that shall answer for you. This seed shall be prosperous in the name of Jesus Christ. With this seed, may the Lord hear you in the day of trouble. May the name of the God of Jacob defend you. Send you help from the sanctuary. Strengthen you out of Zion. Remember this offering and grant you according to your own heart desire. It is done. Please take your seat, cast your seed with joy as the choir minister. You are great. Yes, you are. Only one, you walked upon the sea, you raised the dead, you reign in majesty, mighty God, everything written about
Hallelujah. Let's lift up our hands one second and thank God from our heart. This is the second day on this mountain. Give him thanks for the strength, for the revelation so far, for bringing you to day two of this spiritual week of emphasis. Celebrate him, magnify his name for what he has started doing already, for what he has started showing already. The Bible says in Hosea 6 and verse number 2, it said the second day he will revive us. He's already reviving you right now. Give him praise, give him glory. Magnify his name. Father, we thank you. Blessed be your name forever. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given time. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for reviving our lives, our career, our business, and everything that consigns us this day. We return all the glory to you, Most High God. In the name of Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit of the Most High God, we have come again before thee. Alpha and Omega, let everyone under the sound of my voice encounter you for a change of levels. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, this second day, where every pit, where any of us have been pulled, let that pit be closed now. In the name of Jesus Christ, Holy Ghost, take over the service now. Let me disappear, Holy Spirit, and let everyone feel your presence. In Jesus' mighty name, put your hands together for the Lord and take your seat. It is my year of breaking limit. Hallelujah. I want to appreciate God and his servant in the house for another wonderful opportunity given to me. I thank you, sir. We have been on the teaching series since yesterday. Breaking, breaking through is my heritage in Christ. That's the running team for all through our midweek service for the month. And the global team, that's the month's theme is, is a supernatural breakthrough is my heritage in Christ. It's my heritage in Christ. I want you to know that the end time church is a church of no limits in every area. It's a breakthrough church in every area. The end time church, now what a joy. You are part of this, this God's agenda at the end time. It's a breakthrough time. No matter where you are, you have the testimony shared. Just do what is commanded, sir. And you'll be a celebrity in no time. God himself has vowed. He told us in Obadiah chapter 1 and verse 21. You saw it yesterday and we read it again. Obadiah, just one chapter and verse number 21. He said, Behold, I have made thee small among deliverers who go up on Mount Zion to govern the mountains of Israel, and the kingdom will be the Lord's. The kingdom will be the Lord's. You are ordained at this time to be a deliverer, sir. a pace setter, a generational reformer. A trailblazer. No matter what you are doing. That is God's agenda for the end time church. But one thing is key. There is no breakthrough force that will be effective without love for God. There is no. And that is why you need to decide to change your degree of love for God. If you want to be among the celebrities of this end time, you have to change. Even the Bible confirms it. He said the greatest of them all is love. And that makes the subject of love unique and powerful. In Matthew chapter 22, let's quickly see that verse 36 beginning. Matthew 22 verse, it says, teacher, which is the greatest commandment in the law? In the next verse, Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment. 
Anything you see in the Bible with this kind of emphasis, don't play with it. It is the master key. For your breakthrough to be visible, your tempo for the love of God must change. It must change. The love of God is in your heart. It's what guarantees every breakthrough in every field of endeavor. The genuine love of God, not what you want to get, not because you are sick, not because you want to get married. No, I just love this God. And when you love God, it's yours. You can't pretend about it. When you love God, it's yours. It's yours. And it will show you your life this month. Because this month is another revisitation of your destiny. And your destiny is not your making, sir. Your destiny is your discovery. And the maker of your destiny is calling, telling you, love me with all your heart. And I will order your step. And the journey of destiny will be smooth. That's what God is telling you. Say, just give me your heart. Because there is no true love that doesn't surrender his heart. Even in the physical. Once you say you love somebody, everything in you speaks it. Show God this month that you love him. And see how far God will go with you. In the name of Jesus Christ. We saw yesterday one powerful breakthrough point. Divine direction. God's servant took us extensively and explosively through it. No child of God will go far without divine direction. You can't. Because your maker I say, follow me and I will make you. Matthew 4.19. But well, most of us say no. We know what God is going to say. Anytime you think you can predict God, you are digging your grave, sir. You can't. You can't predict God. Say, just follow me. Follow him. You see, things of the kingdom initially look like it will not make sense. That's why the learned people find it difficult. And when you begin to tell them, they say, no, these things have been there. If that's how it's easy it is, everybody would have become a you know, multi-millionaire. Don't mind them. It's working, and you continue to work in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. So today, we are privileged we are going to see another one. Engaging the master key to all around breakthrough. Strong faith. Strong faith. Strong faith. I also, for the purpose of the text and this charge, I want to e equip strong faith with violent faith. The two are the same and one. But what is faith? I quickly define faith, just as a reminder. What is faith? Faith is a spiritual explosive. Faith is a spiritual explosive that devastates the gate of hell. And establish your dominion. It destroyed, devastated the gate of hell. And establish your dominion. In every area of life. That's what faith is. It's an explosive. And that's what we're going to look at in the few minutes we have. Explosive device. That destroys the gate of hell. And establish your dominion. Praise the Lord. So faith, as I said, we look briefly for the sake of this time. Faith has two dimensions, two types. The work of faith, the word of faith, the word of faith. That is what we learned in Wobi, in foundation school, and this and that. Then we have another level because you must graduate from that to the spirit of faith. Without the spirit of faith upon your life, you cannot operate in a violent realm of faith. It's impossible, sir. So you must be baptized with the spirit of faith. Then that is when you can operate at that strong faith that commands exploit. The word of faith will only teach you what the word of faith, the rudiments of faith. That's what the word of faith teaches you. 
And you can't go too far with it. You learn that one by learning it. By reading text, by attending lecture. But the spirit of faith is impartation. And by the communion today, as many as desire it, you will be imparted with the spirit of faith. Let me hear better. Amen. I say you will be imparted in the spirit of faith. Because faith has four dimensions. The first dimension is faith in God. Faith in the word of God, second dimension. Faith in the ministry of the Holy Spirit, third dimension. And faith in the prophet sent over you per time. Your faith in these four dimensions must be in place. So that when the prophet declared, you don't have any doubt about it. And when God speaks, you just take it as a law. And when you see it in the word of God, you don't need to think about it. No. Just believe it raw. Because it may not make sense initially, as I said, but very soon you will be distinguished. And probably the faith in the Holy Ghost, which makes it more effective because Holy Ghost acts as a catalyst that makes your faith to come alive and begin to deliver for you. You will not miss out at all in this journey in the name of Jesus. So that is what faith is about in the summary. The faith strengthens our belief for delivery by love. I know faith on this soul cannot deliver. In the book of, the book of um, Revelation chapter 5 and verse number 6. Let's see what it says there. Revelation, of, uh, sorry, Romans 5, 6. Romans 5, 6. Studio, sorry about that. It says, for when we were yet without strength, in due time, Christ died for the ungodly. For the ungodly. Praise God. So that's what it means. Your faith must be at the, in that level of violence before it can deliver. God will be speaking of faith. Faith, you ask some people, do you believe in the prayer? He say, I believe. But before you even finish praying, they are doubting. Their faith cannot deliver. Until the love of God is put in place. Until, because it's the love of God that makes faith to deliver. Amen. It's the love of God that makes faith to do what? To deliver. Romans chapter 4 verse, it, uh, verse 17 to 21. We all know the story of Abraham. He believed God. No matter his waiting, he was never moved. Let's read some few verses. Romans Chapter 4, 17, as it is written, I have made thee father of many nations before him whom he believed, even God, who quickened the dead and called those things which be not as they were. Verse, this verse, who against hope believed in hope that he might become the father of many nations, accounting to that which was spoken, so shall thy seed be. Next verse. And being not weak in faith, he considered not his own body now dead when he was about a hundred years old. Neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. Verse 20, he staggered not at the promise. God has spoken many things to some of us because maybe six months has passed or one year has passed, we are doubting. Watch it here. Verse 20, please. He staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God. At the last verse, verse 21 for now. And being fully persuaded what he had promised, he was able also to perform. You are too small to thank God. When God has spoken, all you need to do is to be celebrating him. Just like Abraham did. He staggered not, but giving glory. Because if you are not giving glory, you are not praising God, thanking him for what he has promised you, you will backslide. Because there is no interval in the spirit realm. You are either celebrating God or you are thinking of another thing. But I know by this communion, whatever God has spoken to you, either through his prophet, either through the word of God, I pray that the patience for you to wait will be released now in the name of Jesus. So faith, strong faith guarantee breakthrough. Opposition notwithstanding. 
Strong faith guarantee what? Breakthrough. Opposition notwithstanding. Because opposition will always be there. We saw it in the life of the three Hebrew boys in Daniel 3. Beginning from verse 16. They are so strong despite the environment they are. So your environment is not a factor. As far as faith is concerned. We know that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they are captives from Judah to Babylon. But they believe their God. Despite all odds, they are not ready to bow. They say instead of bowing to your idol, King Nebuchadnezzar, we prefer to be born. Did they born? No. God has not changed. He is the same God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you are still serving. Whatever has been spoken concerning you this year, I decree it will find fulfillment before December. Let your amen be loud if that is you. That's what it means. What of Daniel? The same thing. These are faith giants. Faith giants. Despite the, oh, despite the environment they are. They are not ready to compromise. So where are you and what are you going through that you are about to compromise? I pray by this communion today, you will never compromise again. In the name of Jesus Christ, I say you will never compromise again. Strong faith will subdue nations and kingdoms. Strong faith will subdue nations and kingdoms. Once your faith says so, God will not say no. Are you hearing? Strong faith. And that is where you are baptized by the spirit of faith. Violent faith. We are talking of strong faith. And there is no any better time. You require strong faith than now. Because the world is becoming, it will have what we call new normal now in everything. So what you believe he that told before now. Or what you even learned in the school. With the passage of time. The facts are changing. So it's only God that is still reliable. And despite the fact he is unchangeable changer, he's still reliable to tomorrow. He never changed. He cannot be civilized. He cannot be modernized. The truth remains the truth. And it's only the truth that will set you free. Amen. But we also look at what we call passion for souls. Anybody who claims to love sir. And he doesn't love souls. He doesn't have a capital proof that he loves God. But the lovers of souls, they are the ones who have capital proof that they love God. And if you love souls, it will show. Your relationship with your neighbor will show that you really love God. Because you don't see God. So the yardstick for measuring your love for God is your neighbor you are seeing. What is your relationship with them? What is it with them? So examine yourself once again. Because you need this state right now. Because there's no person who advise you. Mentor, no mentor. They have been giving advice and they have been failing. Even God servant in this commission. Initial stage, he saw something. God showed him. He ran to the mentor. The report was not palatable. If he's not a strong man of faith, I'm not sure many of us will be around today or the ministry will not be at this level. So you need this strong faith to survive in this perilous time. And by the communion today, you are going to be baptized by that communion in the name of Jesus Christ. So your love for souls make you a close partnership with God. Once you love souls, God loves you. And when God loves you, even the devil has nothing to do. The devil has nothing to do. In the book of 1 John chapter 3, verse 18. 1 John 3, 18. He said, my little children, let us not love in words, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. In deed and in truth. Because many people are expressing love by mouth. No. If you love God, you give him your heart. Just give him your heart. Anybody who say you love, you give him your heart. 
Many of us are just chatting, I love you, this and that. You see, the word love is overused that is losing its potency. So you show it practically. Not matter of I love God, no. So your love for God guarantee you a bright future. Your love for God is a guarantee. If you don't see anybody, we have been reading great giants in the scripture. See the presiding bishop. It's a typical example. He followed God from teenage and he's showing. The world is waiting for your own to show. And it will surely show in the name of Jesus. So no one can claim to love God when he does not love what God loves. Simple. And what does God love? Souls. In John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave. He only begun to show. Why? Because of soul of man. So if you love God, you must be craving all the time. Praying at the prayer altar. Going out to speak to somebody concerning the kingdom. But the moment you are doing that, forget about individual desire. God will take care of it. Just be doing it from the heart. Doing it sincerely. Spend your resources Spend your time and energy to make sure you bring somebody to church and watch out what is going to happen. And God's servant have been a tremendous assistant to us in our spiritual journey here. You always tell us the, the mind of God. You have told us the next three months, in now two months, what are you doing? Have you spoken to somebody? Have you transported somebody to church? What is your zona centers, your home cell? What have you done to encourage people there? These are the things. Because if you really love God, nobody needs to advise you on these things. You just do it because you love God and want his kingdom promoted. So you do it. It's not how much you have. If you love God, you start at your level. God knows everyone's level. So if you really love souls, you must do something right from the whole cell. Whatever you can do. If there's no chair, you buy one plastic chair there. That's at your level. And if your level exceeds that, God knows. Praise the Lord. So we're going to look at one of the biblical giants, Moses. As our time is almost up. You saw Moses right from the beginning. You see, if you really love God, sir, you are indestructible. No matter what you are going through. All those biblical giants, they went through what many of us have never gone through. And they insisted in loving God. And God made them a giant in the kingdom. That wherever this word is preached globally, their names have been mentioned. Moses is one. You need the circumstances Moses was born. I knew what happened. The mother packaged him very well and put him in the river. Destiny is blinking. Blinking. Pharaoh's daughter came there. And one of the maids just saw a lad crying. And that's how he picked it. And as destiny is still blinking, the person they called to come and take care of Moses for her is the mother. That's how destiny speaks. Amen. And that's part what he did. He, he saw, you know, blood is thicker than water. He saw a Hebrew and Egyptian fighting. He intervened and destroyed the Egyptian. He ran away. Still, because God knew he did it with sincerity of purpose. See, God has not left him alone. He came to the well. He saw Jethro's daughters. As I got married, from there, he began to rear his, the in law. I know what happened. And the back, God appeared again. God will appear to somebody. In this month, God will appear to you. Where you are now does not matter, sir. What you are doing now does not matter. Just be sold out to God. And see how God is going to decorate your life. In this remaining two months. God goes to decorate your life. And God spoke to him. Somebody who is a fugitive, so to speak. A murderer being wanted in Egypt. But when God instructed him to go back. And rescue his people. He went back. Because he, he didn't go there alone. And God went with him. And he was victorious. So whatever you are going through. Is, not everyone is witchcraft. 
It's a process of being made. But all you need to do, Jerry, whatever you are going through, hold on to God. And as you hold on to him, he will distinguish you. Rise to your feet. Stand to your feet, lift up your hands, give him thanks, give him glory, celebrate him for this day too. We give you all the glory, Jesus. We magnify your name. Thank you and thank you. Blessed be your name forever in the name of Jesus Christ. The love of God will not come easily because things of the spirit does not follow energy determined. No. It must be in the spirit. So before you start your journey at all, you need to say yes to Jesus. You need to have a relationship with him so that he can empower you. So if you are here, you are not born again yet, you have not begun. Or you have been born again sometimes away, well, but due to circumstances beyond your control, you backslid there. This is another opportunity for you, wherever you are, you want to say yes to Jesus in this day too, so that by day three, God will raise you from where that dungeon you are. Wherever you are, put your right hand on your chest and repeat this simple prayer with me if you want to say yes to Jesus online. If you are watching us, you want to say yes to Jesus, do the same. Lord Jesus, thank you for your words. I am a sinner. Have mercy on me. Forgive me all my sins and wash me with your precious blood. Write my name in the book of life. Today, I confess you as my Lord and my personal Savior. Come into my life and take control of it from now in Jesus' precious name. If you pray that prayer wherever you are, Please come quickly in this auditorium. Come quickly. God's servant is coming shortly right now to put a C on that prayer. Wherever you are, you can make it louder as we invite God's servant. Shall we give Jesus a big, big clap offering of praise for his word tonight? If you are clapping for Jesus, make your clap offering for him bigger. Make it better. Hallelujah. In Jesus' precious name. Heavenly Father, we give thanks and praise to you again tonight for your word spoken into our lives. We do not take your word for granted. We take your word with gratitude. Let your word spoken into our lives be answered loud and clear in every department of our lives. In Jesus' precious name. Celebrate Jesus some more. Please be seated in God's presence. Today is the second day of our three days of prayer and fasting for the month of October. It is important to understand that it is prayer that gives value to fasting. Fasting without praying is mere deprivation from food with no value addition. So it is prayer that gives value to fasting. That is why it is called fasting and prayer. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? Tonight again, before we partake of the communion and share the good news, we shall be praying some more. In Jeremiah chapter 11, from verse 18 to verse 20, Jeremiah chapter 11, from verse 18, and the Lord has given me knowledge of it. Knowledge of what? What was it that God gave him knowledge of? Let's see it as we read on. And I know it, then thou showest me their doing what was it that they were doing that God gave him knowledge of? Look at it in verse 19. But I was like a lamb or an ox that is brought to the slaughter. And I knew it not that they had devised devices against me. Saying, let us destroy the tree with the fruit thereof. Let us cut him off. From the land of the living that his name may be no more remembered. Ah. 
But O oh Lord of hosts, that judges righteously, that tries the reins and the heart, let me see thy vengeance on them. For unto thee have I revealed my cause. So anyone that is part of any satanic conspiracy for evil and destruction against your life, against your family, against your career, they shall be visited with divine vengeance and double destruction. I didn't hear your believing amen. Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 18. Hear what the word says. Let them be confounded that persecute me. But let me not be confounded. Let them be dismayed. But let me not be dismayed. Bring upon them the day of evil. Destroy them with double destruction. Stand on your feet with me. Studio put off prayer one. Say with me, Father, in the name of Jesus, let everyone that is part of any satanic conspiracy for evil and destruction against my life, against my family, against my career, be visited with divine vengeance and double destruction. Open your mouth and pray. The prayer lines are on the screen. Engage with your heart. Anyone that is part of any satanic conspiracy against my life, family, and career, Father, visit them with divine vengeance and destroy them with double destruction. In the name of Jesus, Rakapata Soseketarade, Eziza Akoto Seseke, Akapalato Zuse, Agrede, Akakoto Suseketa. My father, tonight I decree and declare anyone that is part of any satanic conspiracy for evil and destruction against my life, family, and career, visit them with your vengeance. And destroy them with double destruction. In the name of Jesus. Zakatoso Sekete. The word of God says. Hand joined with hand. The wicked shall not go unpunished. Therefore anyone. That is part of any. Satanic conspiracy. For evil and destruction. Against my life family and career. Visit them. With divine vengeance. In the name of Jesus, destroy them with double destruction. In the name of Jesus, anyone that is part of any gang up for evil and destruction against my life, visit them, Father, with your vengeance tonight. Destroy them with double destruction. Ateke katozuza, atake paragalare. Le peketo so seketa, azuze ke kakoto zuza, aragagaga balakoto so sekete, aziza kata so seke paragala, le keto so seke pakato so sekete, ragagaga, ragaga balakoto so sekete. Anyone that wants to bring me down, strike them down, never to rise up again. Azuze ke teke, akapakato so seke, le risha gala. Aba, akoto ke peketa zuza, eketo su seketa, ragabala, no weapon, fashion against my life, against my family, against my ministry, shall prosper. Every tongue risen against my life, family, and ministry, I destroy tonight in the name of Jesus. I condemn them in judgment in the name of Jesus. Eziza, akakoto seke. Aragabala kato soseke taya. Le kato soseke. Agabala koto suse. Zagaragalaya. Rekeke koto soseke taya. Ali pala 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 garaga. Robekete kete seke te kete ziza. Ragagaga godo soseke teye. La babo soseke ta. Rakato saketa. Akakoto soseke te. Anyone that is part of any satanic conspiracy. Against my life, family and ministry. Father, visit them 
with your vengeance tonight. Destroy them with double destruction in the name of Jesus. Zezekete, zozagagagala, rakakoto sosekete, rakapakato soseketaya, rekete kepala, robababababababakata sosekete. Hand joined with hand, the wicked shall not go unpunished. I release divine punishment upon anyone that has a hand in any satanic conspiracy machinated against my life, machinated against my family, machinated against my ministry. In the name of Jesus Christ, Zeteke Palatozo, Arakatosu Seketa, Akakoko Pekete, Akakaka Paragalarade, Lakakoto Seketa, Ragaga, 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 Eteke Peketoso, Zaria Lada, Ragadeke, Ragadeke, Epeleke, Akoto Peketa. Anyone that wants to stop my progress. I decree that God stops their life right now. In the name of Jesus. Zila Rage, Leke Peke, Zuzakate. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Anyone that is in any satanic conspiracy, for evil and destruction against your life, against your family, against your career, against your business, I decree tonight that they be visited with divine vengeance. I decree their destruction with double destruction. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Deuteronomy chapter 33, verses 7 and 11, two verses. We read verse 11 first, and then we read, verse, we read verse 7. I beg your pardon. We read verse 7 first, and then thereafter we read verse 11. This is the blessing of Judah. And he said, hear, Lord, the voice of Judah. That's why God must hear your voice tonight, sir. Don't pray a psychedelic prayer tonight. Don't pray a silent prayer. Pray a violent prayer. The prayer that God must answer. He said, hear, Lord, the voice of Judah. Bring him unto his people. Let his hands be sufficient for him. Be thou and help to him from his enemies. God will help you in the name of Jesus. Your enemies will never succeed over your life. Verse 11. He said, bless, Lord, his substance. Accept the work of his hands. Smite through the loins of them that rise against him and of them that hate him that they rise not again. So anyone that has risen up to bring you down, they shall go down for your sake never to rise up again. Say with me, Father, in the name of Jesus, strike through the loins of those Seeking my downfall out of envy and hatred. Bring them down for my sake. Never to rise up again. Lift up your voice and pray. My God and my Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. Strike through the loins of those that seek my downfall. Out of envy and hatred. Bring them down for my sake. Never to rise up again. In the name of Jesus. Ragagaga opekete akotosu sekete. Anyone out of envy and hatred seeking my downfall. Father, strike them down. In the name of Jesus. See to it that they rise not, they rise not up again. In the name of Jesus. My God and my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, strike through the loins of those seeking my downfall, out of envy, out of hatred. Bring them down for my sake, never to rise up again. In the name of Jesus, anyone seeking my downfall, 
out of envy, out of hatred, strike them down for my sake, that they rise not, that they rise up not again in the name of Jesus Christ. Zera leketo zuza, akakoto soseke, agagala, agalabolo, rekete kete, zagagazuze. Rekakato so seketa, a rupa kapeketa, a ragaleke to zuzela, a gabaleke to so seke, a gabaraka to susarade, a garia labande, a gadozo, e peketa zuza, a galia rabande ketazu, a rapa papa kato so sekete, ezi zazaza, a gobege la roge, la ko babozo, zaziza, a baragala kato so sekete. Ripa la tonsonde, ake koto peketanze la rale. Father, in the name of Jesus, strike through the loins of those seeking my downfall out of envy and hatred. Bring them down for my sake, never to rise up again. Zila rosha, leketo suseke, ragagaga, rotekete, zakato suseketa. Bi para galato, zagalate sekete, ragabala pata suse, ragabala kato suseketaya. Strike them down. That they rise up not again. Everyone that is seeking my downfall, out of envy and hatred, zutaraga baleketus, rakato suseketarade. Strike them down tonight that they rise up not again in the name of Jesus Christ. I give you praise. I magnify your name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Stretch your hand towards the altar. I decree and declare in the name that is above every other name, even the name of Jesus Christ and by the unction that functions in this commission, anyone that is part of any conspiracy for evil and destruction against your life, against your family, against your business, against your career, they be stricken down for your sake, never to rise up again in the name of Jesus Christ. My God will visit them with divine vengeance and destroy them with double destruction. He will strike through the loins of those seeking your downfall out of envy and hatred. They will go down for your sake six feet deep, never to rise up again. Anyone that wishes you dead, they shall die in your stead. You and your family members shall live and not die to fulfill your days and your destiny in grand style in the name of Jesus. There shall be no untimely dead. There shall be no premature dead for you and your family in the name of Jesus Christ. And so shall it be. We seal it with the communion of the blood of Jesus Christ and the flesh of Jesus Christ tonight. In Jesus Christ's name, it is done. Give Jesus a big, big clap offering of praise. Please get seated, choir, sing as the communion is served. Let your power flow in this place. Let your healing come in this place. I call for signs and wonder in this place. Let your presence show. Bye. 
lift up our voices to God and give him thanks. We serve a prayer answering God. We have not prayed unto storage tonight. We have prayed to the hearing of the Almighty. And he has heard and answered our prayers. Let's give him thanks for the answers to our prayers. Bless his name from the depth of your heart. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. In Acts of the Apostles, chapter 11, verse, chapter 12, verse 11, watch this. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 12, verse 11. And when Peter was come to himself, he said, Now I know of a shorty that the Lord has sent his angel and has delivered me out of the hand of Herod and from all the expectation of the people of the Jews. My God will deliver you from every satanic expectation against your life. Those expecting to hear the news of your downfall will hear the news of your promotion instead. Those expecting to hear the news of your failure will hear the news of your success instead. Every negative satanic expectation about your life shall be disappointed. He said, now I know of a shorty that God has sent his angel and has delivered me from the hand of Herod and from all the expectation of the people of the Jews. There are people that are waiting to hear that you have died. Sir, instead they will hear that God has opened a new chapter of blessing for you. There are people that are waiting to hear that your business has collapsed. Sir, instead they will hear that you have opened another branch. So tomorrow we'll be having some prayer points in this direction. Disappointing the expectation of the opposition. What do I call it, sir? Disappointing the expectation of the opposition. It is not... This is just two prayer points is enough to set up a whole life and destiny. Two prayer points is enough to settle your lifetime and your destiny, sir. So it is not a session to miss in the name of Jesus Christ. This coming Sunday, we shall be having covenant day of breaking generational curses, sir. Whatever is responsible for any form of calamity, setback, or stagnation, that you are experiencing in life, wherever it is coming from, be it from your father's house or from your mother's house, sir, it must come to an end. The Bible says, surely there's an end. Whatever has a beginning must also have an end. This covenant day of breaking generational, generational causes will mark the end of every form of misfortune that has followed you all this while in the name of Jesus Christ. Don't forget, when coming on Sunday, don't come alone. Come along with fresh, brand new invitees in addition to your previous invitees that you will remind between today and Saturday. Remind them of the services on Sunday and reach out to new people that you will invite. If you need to pay their transportation to bring them to church, please go ahead and do that. You are investing in God's kingdom and there's no better ground to invest than in God's kingdom. Go out of your way to ensure that you don't come to church alone this coming Sunday. In addition to your family, please fill your vehicle with other people. Go to where people are playing football on Sunday. Park and tell them, come, I have some good news for you. Something is happening in church today. And you can't afford to miss it. The service will change your life and the story of your life for good and forever. Follow me. Enter. So nobody will say no to you. You are speaking under divine authority that will lead to compel, compulsion. To compel them to come. They will follow you to church this Sunday, sir. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? Let's get it done. Don't forget also that we all must be part of the home cell fellowship this on Saturday in the evening. 15 minutes before time, let's come out and invade our community where the home cell is located and tell them that this is Winners Fellowship. And 
in winner's fellowship, we pray for each other, we pray for our needs. And when winners pray, God answers. So we follow it to the fellowship. And then in the fellowship, we remind them again of the covenant day of breaking generational curses and charge everyone to come along with somebody, a brand new person to church on Sunday. As we do that charge, this prophetic season of divine visitation will answer maximally in your life. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. Give Jesus a big, big clap offering of praise. As you go tonight, go with God. The power and the presence of God goes with you. The end of these three days fasting will deliver maximally the blessing that God has ordained for you for the month of October. Remember, the end of a matter is better than the beginning. Tomorrow is the end of a three days fast. And whatever God has loaded into this program shall deliver in your life and my life maximally. In Jesus Christ's name. Now let's share the goodness together in fellowship. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. For those who came late after the offering has been blessed, and you have your offering with you already packaged, please drop it in the late offering basket. Your offering is also blessed.